I want to talk just a little bit about the economics of life in America. It's kind of crazy, and we ask ourselves, how is it that people are choosing to go with Satan when we're talking about conspiracies? How, with 9-11, there have to be thousands of people, so on and so forth. Well, let's just look at the reality of life. In business, a person starts up a shop, he says, I'll sell it to you for $2 since I bought it for $1. And this sounds great so far. He starts thinking to himself, though, this is how much product I have to go through just to make $5. I have to be available for all of these customers, and then I have to actually get them into my store. People come here because they need this item. They can't get it anywhere else. I can probably raise the price. I already paid these guys for protection anyway, so why not go ahead and use it? Now that I have all this extra money, I'm able to more than just survive, but thrive. Buy build, big buildings so that people can believe in me, and believe in my products, and believe in what I do. And when I speak on the matter, I'm an authority on the matter. Because I'm good at stuff? Well, I'm good at taking more than I, I'm worth. People respect me because I have offices, and I give donations. You know, who knows where the donations end up. People don't seem to care. Everything that defines me as a success grows from theft, but you don't mind. How could you really expect people not to see Satan as the one true God of this world? Take, for instance, even a cheap motel in the dangerous part of town costs $75 a lot of times. You are lucky if you can find one for under 55 so minimum wage is $10 a day is 8 hours. That's $80 minus taxes. We won't talk about that, though. So then the bedridden motel takes 75 of it. Nobody can figure out why people can't survive without subsidized bus passes and food stamps. Well, we make money. Certainly, where does it go? We flat earthers genuinely wonder why these people around us can't figure out 8 inches per square mile. That's mind-blowing to us. But in reality, no matter how basic the math has been, people just do what they're told. Don't stick their heads up. That's why every person has to hustle at work. And after, the math simply requires it. I steal for my kids, and he steals for his. And if I can get a hustle going, I will, because I have to. Steal today, and there will be plenty tomorrow. But if you work honestly, you will work yourself homeless. Most people are choosing Satan every day, and they know what they're doing. So when you start considering, is this possible? There have to be so many people involved in on it. All the scientists would have to be involved in on it. No, everybody is just looking out for their own hustle that they've got going. A scientist making $35 an hour? Are you kidding? He's not saying anything. Finds a major flaw? Oh, yeah, let's shut everything down. I hope we can get to the point where the flat earth means that we no longer take advantage of each other. That we no longer lie to each other and steal from each other because we all kind of realize that if no one was stealing from each other then there would be no need to steal like subscribe and check out my book or video book how to tell time by the moon it's important that we get this word out because you need to be seeing the flat earth for yourself from your porch every single night that a moon's out